If you're somebody who struggles setting a budget or just keeping on top of your finances, then I really hope this video is able to help you. Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to be managing my money in 2022. This is the first time I'm going to be doing it this way, so it's a work in progress and no doubt I'll be changing things along the way, but I really hope that this does help you just give, get a few ideas on how to budget your money. I like to do this on Google Sheets um, because it gives me a screenshot of how things are, but also a forecast of how things can look in the future. Uh, again, complete work in progress, so I really hope this does help you. Um, let's head over to the computer now and I'll talk you through it. So looking at your household budget, this is everything. This is kind of going to be a snapshot monthly and then this is going to be a snapshot yearly. Um, household outgoings will be there, necessity outgoings, luxury outgoings, insurance outgoings, and then the total, and then what's remaining for the year based on the income. Okay, so our income here will be added up in this column and that will be the total. Household will be added up and that's the total. Necessities, luxuries and then insurance. So as an example for, say, our household, if I go over to fixed expenses and I say 150 on our council, if I go back to the monthly sheet, you'll see that it is added up there. That's the total. So let me take that out and I will be going through it all properly. Um, then we've got, for example, our luxuries. These are things like Netflix, Gusto, my gym, eating out activities, and these are going to be in the expenditures. So if I go to, to eating out, say we spend £50 on a night out, I spend £30 on a fun activity, and I spend £20 on a gift for that month. The total of those you'll see are reflected in our groceries as well. If I spend, say, £20 at Tesco's, Asda, I spend say £40, that will then be reflected in my in my household again, which is come up as £60. So I hope that makes sense. I know it sounds a little bit confusing, but I haven't yet uh, worked out the sum for this one. That's obviously going to be the total of every month added together, um, which I'm going to put in the yearly. I, it's still a work in progress, so bear with me on that one. And then these are the savings that are going to be reflected from my sinking funds page. Okay, so that will be over there. Uh, again, this is going to be added up monthly. I'm going to have to keep on top of this as best I can because I'm not very good at um, Excel or Google Sheets. I'm Every day is a learning day for me and I've got a long way to go still. Going over to fixed expenses, this is, um, I'm going to fill this in today. So all of my fixed expenses, as you can see on this sheet, uh, are pretty much the, under the household category. The insurance as well will be in this column here. I have already put something in there, which was last year. So I'm going to take that out. And this is all focusing on this year. Because my um, my home insurance was paid on in November, I did put it in, but I'm going to take it out and just focus on this year at hand. I'll be putting the quantity of all of our groceries into this column here. Eating out as well, I'll be doing the same for this. Wherever we go, I'll make sure I make a note of it and then how much we spend. Fun activities, that could be bouldering, bowling, golfing, anything that we do that's fun, kind of like a date day, um, I'll be putting into this column. Gifts. I'm a giver, I'm very much a giver, so I do need to keep a track of um, what I'm spending there. So I've got birthdays, Christmas, anniversaries, baby, mothers, Father's Day, Valentine's Day, and just because. So yeah, I, I am definitely a giver. I'm going to just pull that down. There, okay. Um, holidays, these are going to be rare a few and far between this year obviously we are trying for a baby so hopefully that's our priority this year but anything that we um do put say deposits on a holiday i know i really want to go to krakow this year this was in my goals if you did watch that video um i'd love to go to krakow and see auschwitz this year um so any payments and stuff towards that will go in here and any holiday spending money everything i do our holidays will go into this category and um, all the spending for the rabbits we buy cat litter hay food uh, and any accessories or treats we buy him i'll be sticking into this category the reason i wanted to do it separately from the grocery budget is because i'd like to keep a track of how much we spend because we are looking at getting another rabbit so i'll need to budget that and and bring that into our our monthly budget 
miscellaneous, um, what I've noticed is without having a miscellaneous category, that's where I lose track. It's nice to have that kind of catch all for anything else that I haven't got an actual um, dedicated file for. So yeah, so anything else that maybe I need to buy bubbles and I don't really know where that fits, so I just put it under miscellaneous and that at the end of it. If if I do find it a bit overwhelming of by the end of it, I've spent a lot of money in the, in the miscellaneous category, maybe I'll make a new category based on whatever I'm spending that money on. And total debt, this is another one I need to keep on top of. So I've got the mortgage, I'm going to be putting in all of our mortgage payments, where we're at at the moment, how much we paid each month and the month's end and my car so obviously I bought my car this year um I didn't go for finance my parents-in-law were very kindly off very kindly offered to pay for my car for me and I'm paying them back on a monthly basis or whenever I get a thousand pounds so this is my plan for that I want to make sure I'm paid that off by the end of the year credit card I don't have any debt on my credit card at the moment but if I do add to it then I'd be paying it off here and then my laptop as well. I did buy my, my laptop on finance, 0% interest finance. And I want to, again, pay that off by the end of this year. So that's the plan for that. And then down here, I've just got the year end total. The other thing I wanted to show you was, OK, so my dog walking company, I've got the income and the expenses. So how much I earn every month. This was back last year and I'm going into this year. Obviously, I need to do personal um, tax on it. So that's where I'll be um, monitoring how much I'm earning from my dog walking company and how much I am spending. So my insurance is the only thing I bought this year. Things like um, poo bags, <laughs> they cost a pound. So I haven't really been too worried about putting them in. But yeah, I'm going to make sure I keep a better track of that. And then finally, one thing I'll be going into in a different video is my sinking funds. So I use Starling Bank to track all my sinking funds. I will be doing a more in-depth video on this very soon um, to explain how I'm saving for all the little things. So what I'm going to do now is input all of the things that I can, any bills that have already gone out this month and any predictions for the rest of the year. And yeah, I'll show you how I do that now. And I know I'm leaving Trying to find out what I want But it slipped away You don't know how much I thought of you It won't ever change no matter what you do Just let me come home And let me stay My phone, the bill's gone out as £27.33. Ryan's phone, I haven't taken it from him yet. He's in work today, so I'll get that when he gets home. My car maintenance is zero because I haven't spent any money in my car yet. It is only the 2nd of January, so we've got a way to go still. And then groceries so far, I did an online Asda delivery, which came to £45.28, and we haven't done our fuel yet. And then we've got our luxuries. At the moment, we spent £5.99 on Netflix. Gusto, we've spent £15.99. This is actually for HelloFresh. My gym, the money's gone out as £29.99. We haven't eaten out yet. We've not done any fun activities. We haven't had any spent any money on gifts this year. Holidays, I wish. Hair and beauty, nope. And none for miscellaneous just yet. So I'll be updating these every day or as often as I can to make sure that I keep on top of this. Ryan's car insurance he pays in full, bike insurance pays in full and my car insurance I think I paid it in full this month this year so we've got to wait on that and home I have paid it in full but I need to sort it out because actually I hadn't cancelled my last one which was coming out monthly so no doubt I'll have another bill for that one and my CDW I paid for that in full again around August time. I haven't put my savings in yet. That will be a video for a, another day. But if I, as soon as I put any money over towards my savings, savings, it'll be reflected in this amount here because obviously our income will be split and it'll go into savings. So there's a screenshot at my reflection of how I'm going to be doing my budgeting this year. I don't feel completely happy with this. There's a lot of work that still needs to be done and I will be showing you the whole way through. 
um, I'll be making sure I'm keeping on top of all of my finances this year and I'm going to be doing it through Google Sheets. So although it's a good start because it gives me a good reflection of what money's coming in and what money's going out. I don't quite uh, love the layout yet, so I am working on that. Um, make sure you join me in my next video where I'm going to be setting up my sinking funds and showing you how I save my money every month. Um, so click this video here if you'd like to watch that. Um, but thank you so much for watching. If you liked any aspect of this video, please don't forget to hit the like button because it really supports my channel. And I hope to see you in my next video.